it is hair, heart, and soul time again. So welcome to Hair Talk, Hair, Heart, and Soul. I'm Kai Smith, your trichologist and owner of Follicles 360 Salon and Wellness Spa in Torrance, California. Today, I have some goodies for you again. I'm going to teach you how to understand the growth cycle of your hair, how it grows and how it sheds and how it all makes sense. So come on in, come on in. I got a lot of good stuff to share with you in a very, very small window of time. So I'm going to go quick, but make it simple so that I don't confuse you on anything. I'm going to give you some tools to learn, but I want to teach you how to use them right so that you understand what's going on with your hair. So listen up. You have three stages in your hair cycle. And the first cycle is called the antigen stage. That is the stage where your hair is growing. 95% of your hair strands or hair follicles to be technical are in the antigen stage at one time. That would mean that the majority of your hair is growing more than it should be shed. This stage lasts anywhere between two to six years. And that depends on genetically how things are set up because this stage, your growth cycle, is all predetermined based on genetics. Don't get me wrong, there are some other factors that, that you know, play a role in your hair growth, but we'll talk about those things later. For now, genetics is what predominantly plays a role for your hair growth and how long that's going to happen. So if your hair is not growing as fast as you want it to, you probably should blame your mommy or your daddy. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, your um, growth cycle lasts anywhere from two to six years. As I said, 95% of it is, is growing at, at one time. And so in that two to six year frame, you're going to yield approximately a half an inch of hair per month on average, meaning keyword is average. So everybody might not fall within the scope of being average. Some might be below that, but the average is a half an inch. So we're gonna do some math a little bit. That would mean that if there are 12 months in a year, voila, you should get about six inches of new growth per year, right? But before you run from this video, run to your hairstylist and start regurgitating all this information that you're getting from Kai Smith, the trichologist. I just want to make sure that you use the information right because once again, like I said, you got to be average to get those six inches a year. And you also need to take into consideration the maintenance. You must be getting trims in order to maintain that hair and to keep it healthy. So it's one thing to grow the hair. It's another thing to retain the hair. We'll get into that at a later date on another video as I don't want to confuse you, but you have to take into account you need trends. So you may not see a full six inches of new growth in one year. It may be four inches because you may have needed to um, get two inches cut off periodically throughout the year. I'm just hypothetically speaking now. Don't take me literally. So with that said, we're going to move on to the second phase, which is the catagen phase. That stage in hair growth really is kind of insignificant. Nothing is really happening. It's just like a, a transition from, from uh, a middle stage from one to the next. So it's really not doing anything but being dormant because it's ready to transition to the last phase, which is going to be your telogen cycle. Telogen is the natural shedding process that the hair must go through so that it can replenish itself. So let's make sense of it. You're probably wondering, well, why does my hair have to even come out in the first place? So let me explain. So with the hair growing for about two to six years, depending on where you fall genetically, after it ends the cycle, whether your cycle is two, two years, if your cycle is two years, then that means you're probably going to only get two years worth of hair growth. So that would probably mean 12 inches of hair would grow for you in two years because your cycle is only two years, whereas someone else's cycle may be six years. So depending on the length of it, at the end of your cycle, for, for simplicity, we're just going to say it's a two-year cycle for you. At the end of two years, it's time for that hair to now shed because we get new hair, but we don't get new follicles. Ah, I just said a mouthful. We get new hair don't get new follicles. So since we are born with the follicles, 
that we have and we don't get new ones. The only thing that's new is the hair. It has to come out. And that's the process of regenerating new hair. So about 15% of your hair is in this phase at one time. Meaning all of your follicles don't do the same thing simultaneously because if it did, if it all fell out at one time, you would be bald, which is what happens to cancer patients. But I'll explain that at a later date. Um, so since 15% of our hair is in the telogen cycle at one time, you'll start seeing strands. Maybe when you comb your hair in the mirror, you see it on your sink. You might see it on the floor or just where on your shoulder, but they're long strands. They're the same length of your hair. Smaller strands would mean that that's breakage and that's something different than natural, normal hair shedding. So we wanna make sure that we distinguish the difference between shedding and breakage. Okay, so there are a lot of components here, but we're gonna stick with the shedding process. So you might get about 80 to 100 strands per day, and that's considered to be normal shedding because that is the hair regenerating itself. And what happens during the telogen cycle is that deep down within that follicle, there's a sac of blood supply that the hair is connected to. When it's time for it to start shedding, the telogen stage as we call it, it detaches itself from that blood supply. So it's no longer getting any blood. That means it's no longer living. It's not flourishing anymore. So it's getting ready to transition so that you can see what's called shedding when you look at it. So hopefully I broke that down in the most simplistic terms so that you can understand that your hair is supposed to shed to a certain degree. And if for any reason you feel like it's excessive and you're shedding more than 80 to 100 strands of hair a day, I'm the person that you need to see. And if you're not in the Los Angeles area, you can still contact me and maybe I can help you get in touch with someone that can help you with the shedding if it's excessive, which would be called telogeny fluvium. And I spoke at that, about that on one of the other videos. So as I've stated, this is Kai Smith, your trichologist, here to share all the information with you about beauty, health, and wellness. Until next time, I hope you have a blessed one. I'll see you soon.